Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Pisces, and this is going to be for the week of the 20th to the 26th of August. I will be using my Affirmatus Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be using my Rider Weight Tarot. And then I will pull you two cards from my Energy Oracle. So, Pisces, let's see what messages we have for you. So Pisces, this is for you. The Seven of Cups. Got some options available to you and choices. The Knight of Wands. Who do you want to tell about this? The King of Wands. This could be a fire energy in your environment. This could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or a Aries. The Chariot. Something coming very fast to you, or maybe you're overcoming obstacles. The Wheel of Fortune, karmic good luck on your side. The Queen of Pentacles, this could be an earth energy also, or maybe, you know, you're handling some money right now. Um, but if this is an earth energy, this could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn within your environment. The Four of Wands, you're relaxing, you're expecting something to come, and it's coming. The Nine of Cups, your wishes do come true. The Nine of Pentacles. You're starting to see your rewards. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles, the money manager. So let's see, the Seven of Cups. So on top of the Seven of Cups, we got the Ten of Pentacles, we got the Knight of Swords, and we got the Tower. So it seems like you came into some kind of money or some kind unexpectedly. It made your environment, there was some kind of shift in your environment and it caused a tower moment, like a lot of chaos and confusion. But with that came some choices for you. You got the Ten of Pentacles, you got the Knight of Swords, and you got the tower. But you know, sometimes in life, things got to break down in order to be built back stronger. So on top of the Knight of Wands, we got the Nine of Pentacles, we got the Page of Cups, and we got the Four of Wands. There's happiness in your community. And it seems like there's a lot of love, and you've been using your intuition, and you've been seeing your rewards also. So even though you had a towel moment, it seemed like things righted itself, itself pretty quickly for you. You got the Nine of um, Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Ah, oh, around this King of Wands here, there's a lot of passionate energy. You feel a little excited, don't you? You got the Knight of Wands, you got the Eight of Swords, and you got the Ace of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands, this is about passionate energy, okay? Don't let this energy tie you up. All right, might, might have already done that. Um, this energy was just uh, rolling the hay, so to speak. It wasn't permanent. 
At least that was a thought then with this energy, okay? However, after that happened, it kind of like tied you up a little bit. But you still came into some money. And then some kind of new financial opportunity opened up for you here. I got the Knight of Wands, I got the Eight of Swords, and I have the Ace of Pentacles. On top of the King of Wands. Or did you take charge of something? Did you get a promotion? That's what you're passionate about. Maybe that's what the passion is about. Maybe you took charge of something because the, the King of Wands is about leadership also. And you're very passionate about it, but you know, you got, you got a little anxiety and fear. You got a little tied up about it, but it's a new beginning for you. Then you're going to overcome these challenges, okay? I mean, everything that's brand new is a little bumpy, bumpy to begin with. You had the chariot here. On top of the chariot, you got the five of cups. You're a little emotional. You got the five of swords and you got the star card. So you might be having some inner conflict and stuff. But you, you seem to be, you're going to walk away from it and you're going to be fine. You're going to keep the hope and you're going to keep your eye on the prize, okay? Because there is a prize and you're going to keep your eye on that. So don't let this emotion get, get, get to you. There's, there was some kind of change and it was emotional. Okay, so we got the Five of Cups, we got the Five of Swords, which probably caused a little conflict, and we got the Star card. And then we got the Wheel of Fortune here. On top of the Wheel of Fortune, this is Karmic Good Luck, and you got the Star card over here. So even though things might have been a little confusing and a little turned upside down, it seemed like things righted itself for you. I got the four of pentacles. You look kind of balanced here financially. You got the six of wands. You're successful. And you got the seven of um, the seven of cups again. Your choices have returned. Your options. So the four of pentacles, the six of, um, the six of, the six of wands, and the seven of cups. And then you got the Queen of Pentacles here. Now, this could be the money manager. <laughs> this could be the money manager. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> you know, life still has to go on, okay? <laughs> so my daughter is in the kitchen trying to be quiet. <laughs> So, okay, so here we go. We got the Queen of Pentacles. On top of the Queen of Pentacles, we got the Three of Wands, and we got the Five of Pentacles and the King of Wands. This might be an actual energy in your environment. The Three of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, you're prepared for something. You're preparing, you're making progress. Whatever you, your thought is where this money is concerned, if this is not an energy or earth energy in your environment, if this is not a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn, you're making progress and you, whatever it is you're thinking about money. But however, you got the Five of Pentacles, which is the mindset of lack. That's just a temporary feeling, okay? It's just temporary. It does not last long. And then the King of Wands here. This might be an, in, an energy indeed. This might be a, um, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or Aries. Don't know, but this energy might make you feel a little lack. Hmm. And on top of the King of Wands up there, there is the Eight of Swords, which is maybe a little tied up. Don't us however it resonates with you, Okay. So on top of the four of wands, we got the Hierophant, we got the Page of Swords, and we got the Ten of Swords. Hmm. We're patiently waiting for this thing. Some kind of contract. Something legal. You're waiting. You're, you're alert. You're waiting, but there was some kind of ending. You see, you got, I think you got to let go of whatever it was that ended here with the tower. Because I think you're really and truly still carrying these things and you're blocking this thing and you're blocking all the good things that are supposed to be coming in. We can do that to ourselves, okay? 
So it's totally up to you. So you have the Hierophant, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. But no matter what, you got the Nine of Cups. Your wishes come true. Why are you so up and down emotionally? I mean, I know you're Pisces and everything, you know, but still. You got the Page of Pentacles, you got the Hermit, and you got the Three of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles. Um, you're manifesting something, you're going within and you're doing some meditation. And the universe is building something for you, some kind of partnership, some kind of teamwork, something, maybe working with some people. Maybe that's what the new financial beginning is about. So you got the page of pentacles here, the hermit and the three of pentacles above the nine of cups. Then you have the nine of pentacles here. You're starting to see the money. I told you that five of pentacles is just temporary. That lack mindset is temporary. You got the Queen of Pentacles here. You're thinking about a business deal, aren't you? You're thinking about money, ways of making money. There's abundance or there's some new love coming towards you. I got the Queen of Pentacles. I got the Ace of Cups and I got the Seven of Pentacles. You planted a seed somewhere along the line. And you can sit back and you can watch it grow now, okay? Stop worrying. Stop worrying. So let's see. What other message do we have for you, Pisces? Angel of Balance. Angel of Strength. Hmm. So let's see. Angel of Balance. Being centered and self-honoring in your choices. This loving angel holds a pitcher of liquid light in front of the pyramids, reminding you that a strong destiny relies on a solid foundation of personal balance and emotional and emotional equality. That's not the word, but I can't pronounce it, but it's gonna be balance, okay? <laughs> although things may have seemed, may, although things may have been out of sync in the past, this card is telling you that a greater equilibrium balance is now coming into, coming to your life. Remain conscious about how you are balancing your goals and your physical and emotional energy as well. Whenever you feel yourself getting off-centered or losing focus, call upon this beautiful angel and bring her intention into your heart center. Your intuition will lead you in the right direction and the angel will guide you to a peaceful and centered approach. The affirmation for this card is, I live a balanced and centered life. As I care for myself, the universe cares for me also. And you got Angel of Strength. Let's see. Personal power and inner strength. This amazing angel brings the news that this is a time of increasing power for you. It's not the time to be passive or submissive but to speak your truth and take action on your own behalf. You are capable of taking greater control and directing your own destiny. For the power that comes from within reaches out to the universe and beyond. Inner strength and unlimited resourcefulness flow through you at this time, helping you to create real results. Call upon this wonderful angel and un your own inner resourcefulness to bring you the focus and resolve to do what's necessary in order to make your dreams a reality. The affirmation for this card is deep within me is an, an uh, deep within me is an abiding strength that knows no bounds. I have all the power I need to achieve all that I want. 
I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and we will chat soon.